In your dock station, go to settings, controllers. If you're using any controller that is not X input, you'll have to enable SDL. Or if your controller is really old, you might need to enable the input. Create a new profile. I always recommend creating a new profile. You can name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it multi-tap. Do you want to copy all bindings from the currently selected profile? You can choose yes. This will copy your controller bindings to this profile. Then here in the controller multi-tap, multi-tap mode, you can choose if you want the multi-tap in the port 1, port 2, or in both ports. Most of the games, I think, use the multi-tap in the port 1, and, the, and some games require it to be on port 2. In other games, you can use it in port 1 or port 2. Some games it might work in port 2 and not detect all of the controllers. For example, in Quake 2, if you use the multi-tap in the port 2, it will only detect 3 controllers for some reason. If you use it in port 1, it will detect all 4 controllers. It's kind of a mess sometimes. Now we have to configure the controller bindings for each controller. The first controller was copied from the shared profile. Configure the other controllers. Now in your duck station list, go to a game that supports the multi-tap adapter. Press the right mouse button. Go to properties. In the input profile, choose the profile that we just created. In this case, it's the multi-tap or, or it's called multi-tap then launch the game and have fun